hier noch im Norden. Hello everyone, I am Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. We've been invited today to play with the United European Community on their Saturday event. So special thanks goes out to all the companies, not just the ones in the video, but but everybody involved in the United European Community. I really appreciate you letting me be here. So for today's battle, we are on the Hagerstown Turnpike. <clears throat> and let's see who we have. 52nd New York. Uh, okay, they're over here. Got a couple over there, but I don't think they'll last over there. 52nd New York on the Union side. We've got 8th Florida playing Union as well. Um, to match these servers up properly, you're going to have to have sometimes a Confederate company playing Union. So 8th Florida has uh, done that here, as you can see. Uh, 8th Alabama <clears throat> in mass. And the 14th Louisiana. Hadn't had them on the uh, channel for a while, so welcome back to the 14th. This should be an interesting match, so let's see if we can't identify these companies. There's your 8th Florida with the blue flag. And there's your 52nd. They're the Brooklyn boys. <clears throat> so that's cool. They'll be easy to identify. Last time we were on this map, it uh, came down to the wire, so this should be very interesting. See how this plays out this time. Now these two regiments are going to be hard to... Uh, figure out. No, maybe not, because these guys are in their pajamas. That's right, I forgot. <laughs> and uh, 8th Alabama wearing the PJs today. And here are your 14th Louisiana. <clears throat> so we're going to see how these companies work together. If uh, you watch the channel, you'll know that we uh, actually joined a drill with the 8th Alabama. All of these companies are top notch. Uh, let's see our boys here. You got. Uh, there's Plasma carrying the flag. Underdog in command. I don't see Schimmel Finnig yet. There's uh, Sergeant Ulrich, who I followed around yesterday quite a bit. <clears throat> Uh, I don't see our boy Morphos. <laughs> it looks like he's not here. Mm. Maybe he's finally getting some sleep. That guy never sleeps. <laughs> All right. All right, so they're doing their uh, customary salute. <clears throat> Eighth Florida is usually commanded by Tisser and uh, Hog, and then we've got Fifty Second. We've got Winters and Frank. <coughs> First Lieutenant and Captain Frank. Oh, hmm. that was unfortunate. Yeah, All right. <clears throat> so I don't see. I haven't seen Tisser today. I know Hog is here, but I don't see him here either. Maybe they're having a little powwow somewhere. Not really sure. Well, they'll be here soon enough. Fiber company, make ready. Fiber company, make ready. I don't know why they're team killing. <laughs> Aim at the body. Yikes. <laughs> As you can see, the boys are having a little bit of fun before the battle begins. These guys are so ready to kill, they're killing themselves. Lift your name, boys. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you guys letting me be here to film. There's the hog. <laughs> okay. Okay, it looks like Tisser's not going to be here today. So it will be Mr. Hog. He should be okay. Hog is a fine commander. Tisser chose his uh, first lieutenant well. Eighth Alabama, you see, just standing here, <clears throat> ready to go. 
There's Harris over there, Greenberg. Live kam noch nicht, ne? Gibt noch einen Restart wahrscheinlich. Uh, I don't know German yet, I need to learn it, but uh, it sounds like they might reset the server for time. <coughs> okay. Captain Shoshibo? Hello, Jehovah. Hello, see you. <laughs> they can't see me, but they're saying hello. <laughs> hello, 14th. <laughs> it's good to see you too. I'm not as familiar with this company, so let's get familiar. Alright, I have to back away when they start playing too much music. Don't want any copyright problems. Alright, so, <clears throat> historical time. We are on the Hagerstown Turnpike, that's what you're looking at right there. This, of course, is the famous Miller's Cornfield. That ahead of you is the North Woods. You see artillery coming in, uh, most likely from Nicodemus Hill, which is right up there, past those trees. That's the West Woods, or the north end of it. <clears throat> you have um, this field here is where the Confederates were historically the uh, morning of the first battle. Douglas's boys were waiting for... Um, Durier to come through this field. There are your east woods. There were Union skirmishers in those woods first thing in the morning. This part of the battle is right after that first push. So Hooker pushed through. There was fighting over the cornfield. Um, <clears throat> the Confederates had all their men here in the west woods in this area. Stark came out with the Louisiana Tigers. And uh, tried to defend, but the Union with Doubleday came right up over this hill and just slaughtered these guys. The famous pictures that you see um, with the Antietam uh, imagery that you get from uh, Matthew Brady, I believe it, who took those pictures, is right along this fence line. And you see all those dead Confederates laying there because <clears throat> in that battle, those men literally were fighting across this fence and across this road. You had Union on one side, you had Confederates on the other. That's how close and bloody uh, the fighting at this portion of the battlefield got right early in the morning. Uh, as a matter of fact, the uh, Confederate colors were draped over the fence at one point, and somebody went to get them and were, uh, was murdered on the spot. So very, very, very bloody part of this battle. I assume today is going to look very much the same with these two units coming after each other. <clears throat> But yeah, the uh, Union, I, and I apologize, I can't remember who it was exactly. Um, I have to look that up. But he, they came out of this cornfield and basically took a right flank and hit Stark's men right on that side. Very bloody. All right, so... <clears throat> All right, I'm going to try to get that name right. I think it's uh, Shoshibo. So if I get that wrong, you guys let me know in the comments. All right. I'm excited. We're about to start this map. <clears throat> I'll do another intro once we get in. For the YouTube, you know. I'm going to switch over to the CSA. It looks like they had maybe fewer guys. I didn't want to... Uh, I don't want to block any of the 52nd from trying to get in. <clears throat> Hello everyone, I am Jehovah. <laughs> I'm Jehovah, welcome to War of Rights. We've been invited today to join the European, United European Community for their Saturday battles. This is the first of two. It's going to be on the Hagerstown Turnpike. We've got with us today, on the Union side, the 52nd New York in mass, along with the 8th Florida also in mass. Looks like the Confederates are going to be a little uh, outnumbered today, but it's extremely hard to try to um, balance these servers. I think, uh, I think they do a really good job of getting that done. <clears throat> a couple of the 52nd guys over on the Confederate side right now. I doubt they're going to stay over there. On that side, we've got the 8th Alabama. Uh, 
not new to the channel. They've been around many times. I went to a drill with them yesterday. It was a great time. And we also had the 14th Louisiana, which uh, haven't been on the channel much, but they have before. So welcome back to the 14th. Look forward to seeing you guys in action once again. So here are your Confederate units getting ready. And on the Union side, <clears throat> there is your 8th Florida in the blue. And it looks like, oh man, did the uh, 52nd already get moving? 52nd is out in the cornfield. This is the famous Miller's Cornfield. You can see there's Captain Frank, First Lieutenant Winters. <clears throat> They're leading the 52nd today. 8th Florida already on the move. Tisser's not here today, so it looks like Hogg's going to be uh, running the company today. They should be fine. Tisser's a great leader. He picked a great First Lieutenant, so Hogg will do a good job. And here's your 8th Alabama and 14th Louisiana. Let's see how these two work together. I haven't seen them <clears throat> fighting together on a server before, I don't think. So we'll see how they do it. I I'm going to give the Union a slight advantage in this because I think last week the 52nd and the 8th Florida fought together at Dunker Church. So <clears throat> these units are more familiar with each other. So that that's only going to make, uh, make it easier for them. But uh, don't count out these Confederates, the uh, 8th Alabama and 14th Louisiana. They're no joke, so this is going to be a great time. All right, you see 8th Alabama already on the move, sporting their PJs and nightcaps, taking the high ground. The 8th Florida out in the stones. They thought better of it. They're actually moving back because they see the 8th Alabama move into the high ground. Let's see what Louisiana does. They don't have a huge amount of people here today, so... I imagine they're going to do everything they can to interrupt or disrupt the uh, the Union. All right, somebody's got to hold that point of contention. Oh, here comes the 8th Alabama coming back. So they're getting their exercise in today, <clears throat> running up and down the field. <laughs> uh, 52nd New York out in the cornfield still getting ready to go. 8th Florida out in the field also. So these teams are ready to go, getting some laps in before it starts. Uh, if you're just watching the YouTube video, I'll give you a quick historical reference. Uh, we are on the Hagerstown Turnpike. This was the early morning per portion of the battle, probably 7-ish, 7.30-ish. Um, right ahead of you, that is the famous Miller's Cornfield, where the Union started their attack. That's the North Woods. Uh, we are in the field where the Confederates actually had their defensive lines first thing in the morning. There is the East Woods. Uh, at this point, the Pennsylvania Reserves were in that those woods. And uh, <clears throat> Walker and his boys had burned the Mama Farm and had uh, gone over to engage those guys over there. And way up there on the other side of the trees is Nicodemus Hill. This artillery coming in that you're seeing could be coming from multiple locations. Could be coming from the batteries of Jeb Stewart up there on Nicodemus. Could be coming from Stephen uh, D. Lee, who has batteries out here by the Dunker Church, which is right down this road. Um, <clears throat> or even from the Union Artillery, uh, Matthew's battery right up there, just north of the cornfield. And they actually were shooting kind of ineffectively from across Antietam Creek, like three miles away that way. So, 8th Alabama's on the move again, or I can't tell, nope, that's 14th Louisiana, and part of the 8th Alabama. Okay, so half of the 8th uh, is going to stay here and guard the point of contention. <clears throat> As you can see, they're not right on it, so they're actually losing it right now due to decay. The, uh, the point is actually right over here. This is where the famous photo of the dead Confederates after the battle was taken. So 8th Alabama's pouring lead into the 8th Florida here. They still have a little bit of cover on the field. Hogs Moon has been up to the rocks. Where <clears throat> is the 52nd New York? Uh, looks like I got fire up here, so they're already coming in. Fifty second I don't see them. Oh man, that means they're already over here. Oh god, they're right up in their face. I thought that was the uh, 
Confederates. Oh man, they're already a charging. He has 14th Louisiana, 8th Alabama coming in. We've got the first hand-to-hand -hand combat of the match. 52nd New York. And they're still fighting. It's a little confused <clears throat> because of the uniforms, these red Brooklyn uniforms here. We still got a couple... Oh, he's trying to get the flag. Run! Run, Private! He's gonna make it. He's got two Confederates on him. He's gotta climb the fence. Oh! <laughs> Didn't quite make it. Well, the 52nd has uh, been wiped off the field. So, for the first time in the battle, okay. the Confederates have pushed the Yankees away. Sorry, I almost missed that. We still have elements of the 8th uh, Alabama here on the fence line, taking heavy fire from the 8th Florida. <clears throat> out in the rocks. They've got superior cover over here. But once again, these boys are in a cloud of smoke. At least they're not staring into the sun this time. Soviet Union guys. So there you go. <clears throat> uh, we got 52nd New York spawning in over here as well. And then going back over to their area because their flag is gone. <clears throat> a lot of low shots there. They're having to shoot through both fences as well. Let's see what's happened to that point. It is still fading away. This is such a, a weird <clears throat> point of contention because you know you want to be behind that tree to get some cover. But I guess any part of this fence is the same. Let's see if the uh, New York boys try to push around that side again. Uh, the Confederates looks like they've given up that position, so 14th Louisiana. Nope, they're going back. <clears throat> there they go. 14th going back up the hill. Oh, they just lost a flag bear. Looks like most of the 8th Alabama is here. Taking on the 8th Florida. <clears throat> They've got great cover behind those rocks. Up, oh, looks like the New York boys are actually coming over to support the 8th Florida. So 8th Alabama is going to be taking on two of these companies. Let's see if the 14th can add any support to the 8th. Looks like the 8th and the 14th here. The 8th is still split. Looks like they're talking about it. Yeah, here's elements of the 8th here. Oh, he got his flag back. <laughs> you can see him running through that corn trying to stay alive. So a valiant effort there. Oh, Keith had to do it himself. All right, so here is your 52nd New York. Ooh, under heavy fire. I think the 8th uh, Alabama feels like it's probably easier to shoot these guys than it is the 8th uh, Florida who are behind the rocks. A lot of cloud smoke over here, a lot of gun smoke. <clears throat> Alright, they're shooting at the point because the Confederates finally moved over there. It looks like 14th maybe. Yeah, they moved over here to stand on the point of contention, so they're going to be the target. Half of 8th Alabama split to the left, half right here in the center. Ooh, they got one of them. Okay, we're looking for one flag. All right, looks like the 14th are moving back over to the left. Since they've captured the point of contention. Oh, we've got movement. That's your 8th Florida moving across the field. They see that the point of contention has been left open. 8th <clears throat> Alabama still in the center. Do they see the Florida moving across? Looks like the Florida has given up one set of rocks for another. They've still got a large group here. Oh, he's still moving. Yeah. 
Hog wants to get across this road. He's aggressive. I like it. <clears throat> this is going to be a. Uh, it's going to be hard for the Eighth Alabama to hold them back right here. They've got to see him coming by now. It's hard to say because they're kind of preoccupied up there with the 52nd New York just standing in the middle of the field like pimps, man. Taking the fire, but also taking the attention. Eighth Florida has now crossed the road. They're in the Confederate caisson. This is actually where the Confederates spawn back here, so they got to watch themselves. They could have Confederates spawning behind them, as you see a couple of them back there already. All right, he's behind him. Eighth Alabama in a tight spot here. Oh, they just got hit from the rear. <clears throat> Do they know that the Eighth Florida is behind them? Oh, it's hard to say. They're not looking that way. Oh, this is real. This could be really bad. I don't know how effective the 8th Florida can be from that distance, so they got somebody looking over that way. <coughs> they might feel that they have cover enough. So works out. Oh, the bullets came in. They didn't really hit a whole lot. <coughs> that is pretty good cover right there in all those trees. So it's the 8th Alabama kind of shooting into the sun today. All right, let's see what the Florida boys are doing. They're taking any hits over here. It's hard for Hog to see if he's making any uh, impacts over here. <clears throat> and with all these trees and bushes, I don't know that they're getting a lot of hits on the Alabama guys. It's hard to say. Oh, 8th taking a deadly fire from the 52nd there. Take your aim, northeast. Fire. <clears throat> Alright, I see the 14th Louisiana flag behind them, so maybe they've called the 14th up to put some fire on the 8th Florida. Looks like that's exactly what they're doing. Alright, Florida's moving back across. They've been flanked. Oh! What is going on here? All right, we had 8th uh, Eighth, Eighth Alabama swing around and, a, and flank the 8th Florida. I didn't even see that until it was too late. 8th <clears throat> Florida came across the fence. This is historical. This is exactly what happened in the real battle. These troops are fighting straight across this fence at one another. Oh my god. There's a lot of 8th Florida here. There's not very many 8th Alabama left. Oh my lord. <laughs> and then there was one. He's like, where are my friends? Alright, here comes the 14th Louisiana up to uh, support the 8th <clears throat> and attack the 8th Florida. Alright, 8th Alabama's giving up that spot. They see a large force coming at them. They're running into the sun. So, good reinforcement there by the 14th Louisiana. 8th Alabama still here, holding like a stone wall. Shooting into the sun. <clears throat> Trying to kill the 52nd New York. Man, you can't see shit right there. And the 52nd has moved. Put the sun at their back. Oh no, this is the 8th Florida. No, no, it's the 52nd. Sorry. Company. Getting confused. They put the sun right at their back, which makes it extremely hard for these Confederates to see them. And they're shooting down in Louisiana. <clears throat> Alright, 8th Florida is back in the rocks here.
Hog made a good strong push. Both teams are battle ready. And uh, <clears throat> we got 28 minutes left. No one is in control. Or I'm sorry, the Confederates are still in control of the point of contention. You can see right now, it is between the 14th Louisiana and the 8th Alabama. And oh, we have Union on the hill. These must be just spies, right? <clears throat> just a couple spies, yeah. Yeah, those guys aren't allowed to shoot. They're just going to be there to spot. And we've got part of the 8th Alabama moving off once again. So Greenberg's leading half of his men out of here. Looks like Harris is uh, covering this side. Man, what an impossible task right here. You literally can't see. The only thing you can it's hope to see is a shadow of a Union troop on that hill. Look at all this smoke and sun. <clears throat> Man, what an impossible position. But it's not like they have any choice. They've got to defend this fence. That's that's what this map is all about. Louisiana taking heavy fire from the 8th over here. Very much in the same kind of situation. Look, where's the enemy? You tell me. Can you see them? They're right there in those rocks. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, they keep this up, and um, that battle ready is going to disappear for the Confederates pretty quick. All right, looks like the Union is now massing up. 52nd New York coming over in support of the 8th. They're coming in behind him. Looks like they're going to wrap around him. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I just noticed uh, Jester. Yeah, these are uh, private servers, so you have to be part of these companies to be invited. Um, but, you know, you can always apply to these companies and try to get in uh, with one of them. They drill a lot, so it's a great time. They're see extremely disciplined units all right I see pajamas that's the 8th Alabama coming down that road right there <clears throat> 8th Florida here 52nd New York is crossing the Hagerstown turnpike in behind the caissons this is the same move the 8th Florida made earlier they've got cover but it looks like the oh man the 8th Alabama has crossed the road do they know that the 8th Florida is still on those rocks <laughs> They're running for it. Yeah. Oh my god, they're going to have the 8th Florida behind them. You still got 52nd streaming in. <laughs> they have been... They got guys on both sides. Again, we have general combat across two fences here. Plus the 8th Alabama's got a couple stragglers of the 52nd behind them. They have no choice. They're going to have to hop this fence and go in hand to hand. It's going to be tough to push the 52nd out of this position. Let's see what the Alabama can do. <clears throat> yeah, just too few men to do that, I'm afraid. Oh, but here comes the uh, other half here. 14th Louisiana coming in for support. Adding a few more men to the melee. Can they do it? Can they push him off? 52nd looking strong here. Oh. Oh. Oh, team kill. Whoops. <laughs> and it looks like, oh, God, the flag bearer was just trying to run away and they murdered him. Okay, here comes the rest of the 8th Alabama. Man, they're running from a long way across that field, and they still got the 8th Florida shooting at their flank. All right, so 52nd was able to wipe out half the 8th Alabama. I don't think they're going to be able to do it to the second half, and I think they agree. They're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> run, guys, run. <laughs> oh, the 8th Alabama taking up a position on the fence line, looking to murder these boys as they run away. They did a good job of it. <clears throat> 8th Florida still out in the rocks, offering support to the New Yorkers as they run back to home. 
But the Confederates are engaged. That did yeah. work. That push worked, and it actually killed a lot of Confederate units. 52nd New York looking very aggressive. Both Union teams have already crossed the Hagerstown Turnpike. <coughs> you hear him talking about tickets. All right. But they just evened it up. Both companies are now engaged with 23 minutes to go. <clears throat> the Confederates need to get a hold of that point of contention. But other than that, they're good. Here come the rest of the 8th Alabama. Still taking fire from the 8th Florida. And now the 52nd New York in the rocks. 52nd is uh, regrouping here. Yeah, this must be our flag. There go your uh, Alabama boys. They've got to pay attention to this point of contention. Attention to the point of contention. Because if they don't, uh, that can cause them problems as well. Oh, we got artillery hitting right at the point. Good thing no one was standing there at that time. Right, so the Union's kind of licking their wounds a little bit. And the 8th Florida is going back to their original position. We've got the uh, 14th Louisiana here. <clears throat> Portions of the 8th Florida on this side as well. No, this is 14th, right? No, eighth I keep saying 8th Florida. I am so sorry, 8th Alabama. There's too many 8s. <laughs> I've been on uh, so many servers with the 8th Florida. This is not the 8th Florida. This is the 8th Alabama. 8th Florida is out there. I apologize. I'm a dummy. Let's get some shots here of these uh, awesome soldiers doing their thing. Ready? Fire. All right, <clears throat> 8th Alabama pouring fire. Again, these Confederates are in a tight spot. Not being able to see. I mean, if the Union decided to charge right now, they wouldn't be able to see him coming. All right, I see smoke down there as well. So it looks like we've got Union moving that way. So... <clears throat> Both flags are here, but you got a lot of guys spawning down there. Looks like 8th Florida. Still in mass. But they're taking fire from multiple positions. 52nd New York here, getting ready to go. Looks like they might be making another push to the Confederate right. Union left. But they're going to have to deal with the uh, Alabama over here and over there. The Alabama is holding both flanks on this field right now while the 14th is kind of in charge of the point of contention. Recover. <clears throat> this is smart. I like what they're doing here. They're aiming, waiting for them to show up. When they stand up, they're going to shoot at them. Of course, I can't see them. I, I don't know if they can either. <clears throat> that is the best way to do it if you can plan it, but I, I just don't know how well they can see right now. All right, you hear the 52nd marching out. They're going to their right, Confederate left. Eighth Florida still holding these rocks. This is their fortress. Lots of firing going on. Both these teams are just trying to whittle away at each other's numbers. And it's working. You can see there's a pile of bodies here for the 8th Alabama, but they've still got plenty of men. <clears throat> They're getting messages here. All right, we got 14th Louisiana. Keeps, keeps losing that flag. It's a big target for the field. All right, so the other portion of the 8th Alabama must have moved. 
Uh, yeah, they're up here on the high ground. Oh, they're just sweeping around is what they're doing. Look at this. And the 52nd New York was coming this way. Where are they <clears throat> at the moment? Did they make it all the way back? Doesn't look like it, but the 8th Alabama is definitely getting over here to guard this flank. There is so much smoke, it's blocking out the sun. Ooh, they hit a couple of them. So it looks like the 52nd was trying to get an angle on the 14th, or maybe trying to engage the 8th Alabama here at the tree, but they had already moved, and now they're on the right flank of the 52nd. Question is, can Frank see that through all the smoke? Because they're still aiming at the 14th in the middle. <clears throat> well, we still have 8th Alabama here too, so looks like uh, the right flank of the 8th Alabama has moved from the right back toward the center. Still have Louisiana over here toward the right. They're not quite on the point of contention right now. They're facing the 8th Florida out in the rocks. Both teams still engaged, just murdering the hell out of each other at this point. You hear hogs, that's what they're trying to do, they're trying to just kill them. You can see there's some uh, dead Floridians here, but not a lot. Like when the 50 seconds was over here, they got a few guys killed yeah. as well. So Hogs holding his own over here, and the plan is just to whittle away at the enemy, trying to get an advantage any way they can. So the 8th Alabama's come back over to assist. They're going to pour more fire into the 8th Florida. <clears throat> that means the 52nd. Florida. Hey. Is still there, and the other portion of the Alabama has come back to the hanging tree. Oh, we got artillery coming in. Ooh, that was close. Like some of the men using the tree as cover, some using the fence. 52nd out in the rocks. Oh, I heard the huzzah. Yep, the Confederates are now taking losses. So whatever the Union's doing, it's working. They're actually whittling away at these Confederates. Confederates are in a more exposed position, obviously, just the fences cover. The Union have these rocks right here. This is a hell of a job uh, by the Confederates to hold as long as they have, but they are now taking losses. So you can expect <clears throat> at this point for the Union teams to start getting pretty aggressive. Oh, and it looks like it's about to rain. It's gone from bad to worse, I'm afraid. See a lot of the Confederate fire going into the hills. Oh, we've got Alabama moving to the far right. Yeah, I think they're kind of anticipating these Union companies coming back this way. And the 14th has moved off as well. <clears throat> okay, this is interesting. So you've got portion of the 8th Alabama on the far right uh, under Greenberg, given orders. It won't be long till you can turn these cannons into that and start firing. That'd be great. All right, so the Louisiana boys have moved back to the middle of the field, and the other portion of the 8th Alabama is now moving back. Now, the question is, are they going to circle to the right or the left? Oh, they're going to the right. <clears throat> so looks like they're going to come over here and put more pressure on the 8th Florida, but they're trying to protect themselves from the fire of the Union. They're going to try to draw the Union out, try to bring them where they have to come in, across that field and take fire and when they do they're hoping that they can even the odds so this is a baiting session right here let's see how these union regiments react to that I think they're still happy for the time being to just sit back here and shoot So at this point, the point of contention is wide open, but it's a trap because you've got uh, <clears throat> two Confederate companies 
One of them split in half because the 8th Alabama has so many men today. They've split theirs in half. So you've got three firing positions just waiting for a Yankee to come up there and try to take that point of contention. 14th has moved back even further. For the protection of the hill, you can see the 8th Alabama on this side. Taking cover. Underdogs over here. This is a great position to see that Union can't really see. Them. And they're just waiting. Just waiting for that Union to show themselves. I'm surprised that the uh, Union hasn't pushed this position. So if I were the Union now, I can see the whole field. They don't have this kind of opportunity. But if I were the Union, I'd be swinging around to the right now, getting in over that hill. Kind of surprised 52nd hasn't done that yet. I imagine they probably will at some point. I think right now they're just happy to have the advantage. They've already been very aggressive today. The 52nd <clears throat> has had two charges. 1-1. Um, one, one. Got wiped out on one and then had to uh, get the hell out of there. They got hit by uh, three different units. The 8th Alabama got wiped out by the 52nd. Then the uh, Louisiana boys came in to defend them. They wiped them out too. And then the rest of the Alabama came and they had to get the hell out of Dodge because they were out of men by that point. And uh, because you don't want to be standing around when the 8th Alabama has their bayonets out. That's just... <laughs> you just don't want to do that. They'll kill you. <clears throat> All right, so they've taken position behind the cannons. Oh, God, a heavy fire coming in from the Union units here. So the Confederates are still taking hits. And they are now taking losses, so... Technically speaking, they're losing this battle, even though they are in a better position to defend the point of contention. God, look at the range on these guns. You see the 14th coming up to the crest of the hill, taking a shot, and then falling back. And this portion of the 8th is like, I'm not even going to waste my ammo, dude. <clears throat> I don't blame them. They're sending up scouts, seeing, seeing if the Union has moved, and they haven't. Both of these companies are, I think they're just waiting for this clock to run out before they make a, a big, long push across that field. So from the Union, they can see the flags there. Oh, here they go. Hog's moving. He knows that uh, the Yankees <clears throat> could take the center. Oh, man, he's going straight for the point. Look at him. Aggressive. I like it. Here come the 8th Florida. He thinks they're behind the hill. They're actually a little to the left of that. But he's in a good defensive position for the point of contention here. On your feet. You hear him, he's getting ready for them to come over that hill. <clears throat> I imagine the uh, 8th Alabama is going to give him exactly what he wants. They're going to come around this way, though. What's the 52nd going to do? Are they surely not going to stand here for very much longer? They're going to have to do something. Hopefully they'll get up there and support the 8th Florida. Who, uh... <clears throat> oh, God, look at this. Here they come. Here come your 8th Alabama. Nope. Yep, 8th Alabama. Portion of the 8th Alabama comes straight up into the faces, and here come the 52nd New York in support of the 8th Florida. These 8th Alabama guys, it's only half the company. They're in some real trouble here. They're going to have two companies against a half a company. These other two Confederate units are going to have to make a move now. You can see that the other half of the 8th Alabama swung around the top of that hill. That's what I figured they would do. 
That's what I would do. And now the 14th Louisiana is coming the other way. <clears throat> so they're going to try a pincer. They're going to try to hit them from both sides. But this is going to be a strong, strong position for the Union force. They're right at the point of contention, and they're taking it. Now the Alabama are up on the crest of the hill. 8th Florida is in a tight spot here. Hey. They got fire coming in from the hill. You can see it. A lot of shots went over their heads, though. It won't take them very long to figure out that aiming, though. 14th Louisiana out here against the 52nd with cover. That's going to be that's going to be a bloodbath. Yeah, you can see they've they've hit the 14th hard. They're running for it. <clears throat> so they've pretty much secured the left flank. Because that was the 8th Alabama that moved up to defend the point. So really the only thing the Confederates have left at this point is on the right. It's the 8th Alabama coming down the hill to the fence line. 8th Florida coming to meet them. Here we go. Hogs moved his men. These guys are firing again straight across the fence line. 8th Florida taking a load of lead to the head. But they're still there. 8th Alabama in mass. Shooting into the sun and the smoke. Okay, here's the counterattack. The Union has now taken the point. 52nd is standing on it. 8th Florida now in defense of the right flank of the Union Army. Got runners coming in from the 52nd. Oh, Flag Bear is dead. See these teams right on top of each other. 8th Florida doing a damn good job trying to stand here and take some fire, but they're dwindling down. Those 8th Alabama boys are straight up killers. And by the time Hogg was able to get over here, he had already lost a few of those men, so <clears throat> he's retreating back to the center. Didn't want to lose too many men here. Because now the Confederates have six minutes to take back this point of contention. That means that the 8th Alabama is going to have to mass up with the 14th Louisiana, and they're going to have to push these guys off. You see them coming, though. They're aggressive. Look at them. 8th Alabama coming straight down the fence line. Getting behind the tree. It's a lot of men to hide behind a single bush, but they're going to try. <laughs> All right, you hear Frank giving the order to march to the right. All right, looks like they're going to try to sweep around and get in behind the uh, 8th Alabama. Oh, they went to the line. Did the 14th come across the field? They sure did. Or is that... Nope, that's elements of the other side of the 8th Alabama. Man, that's incredible coordination. I didn't even see them coming that way. Frank saw him coming, got his men into the field and into line that fast. Did you see that? Try that on a public server. <laughs> Never happened. Man, 8th Alabama and 14th Louisiana charging straight up to the point of contention. They want it back. They've got to do it in four and a half minutes. 52nd coming up to support. 8th Alabama coming across the fence, hitting the Florida on the flank and hitting them hard. Look at this. Oh, here they go. Fire and charge drill, just like Captain Carroll orders. And they are into the 8th Florida. There aren't many of those boys left. The Confederates are pushing hard. The 52nd now is all alone. Are they going to be able to take and hold this position from the 8th Alabama? and elements of the 14th Louisiana. It's anybody's game right now. There's still a lot of Yankees here. <clears throat> here they come. Well, they've done it so far. We got a couple more guys left, but there aren't, there aren't enough. They're gonna have to withdraw from this position. And if they don't, I'm afraid the 52nd is going to push them away. Man, look at these Alabama guys, man. They just do not give up. Look at them. They're still fighting for the point of contention. They know they have to. Okay. Oh, look at this. They did it. 50 seconds kind of pulled back a little bit. You got a couple of the Florida guys coming back. Greenberg. Oh. 
just stabbing the hell out of people. <laughs> He's trying to get him to hold the fence. <clears throat> 50 second is still out there holding the field. Eighth uh, Florida is with him. Greenberg doing his damnedest to try to keep these boys together. They pushed him off, but they haven't pushed him far enough. The Union still controls the point of contention. Here come more of the 8th Alabama, and they're out for blood, my friends. They are wanting revenge right up to the fence line, shooting point blank into the Union Army. Oh. And the Union's running for it. There they go. Oh, but they're coming back. Here comes the 52nd again. They're making another push. Back in the line, 8th Florida doing the same. They don't want to give up that point of contention, and they're losing it now. So they want to get up and do the best they can to hold it. But it's dwindling fast. Those Confederates have taken it back. <clears throat> but we have even more Confederates coming in. They're about to win this counterattack. Oh, Hog just went down hard. You can see... 8th Alabama all in the Hagerstown Turnpike. The Confederates are taking back the point of contention. 50 seconds going to have to charge, and here they come. 52nd, 8th Florida charging the right side of the Confederates, trying to get into the road. 8th Alabama, 14th Louisiana are here. They've got more men. The Union are kind of at a disadvantage here. Oh, the 8th Florida or 8th Alabama has across the fence and they're coming in for the flank. Looks like Greenberg's coming after him. Here we go. The Union Force is in a terrible, terrible position. There's gonna be a lot of sad letters going back to the north after this one. These Confederates wanted that point of contention and they're not gonna take no for an answer. Look at it, they're all the way in the field. If the game would let them push much further, I'm sure they would. I don't, I don't know how long they can go. All right, they went from breaking to taking losses after that counterattack. That is nice. So we're back even. Seven minutes to go. Both units taking losses. <clears throat> but the Confederates hold the point of contention. Once again, an incredible fight. We get these every Saturday. These units are just top-notch, every one of them. It's amazing. Trying to get people to do uh, what they're supposed to do is one thing but get them to do these brilliant maneuvers. It takes a lot of skill. Okay. So an impressive defense by the uh, 8th Alabama <coughs> and the uh, 14th Louisiana there. And these Union guys, you know, it's tough because they had a strong position, but, you know, the Confederates actually spawn right behind these lines back here by those trees, so... They're real close. All right, 8th Alabama is not just setting on their laurels. They're moving again. Down to the left side toward the Union spawn. Greenberg is just on fire today. <clears throat> but he knows that the Union spawn down here. So he wants to get on him and start pouring fire into him. Not allow them to get around his left flank. You see we got more. 14th Louisiana in the road. <laughs> there they go. It looks like your 8th uh, Florida and 52nd. They Looks like they're coming in as one group going into the corner. No, 52nd's taking a right. 8th Florida's taking a left. 8th Alabama. 8th Florida is going to come right into the teeth of the 8th Alabama. <clears throat> Are they going to make it there first? Hogs got him at the fence. Independent fire. 8th Alabama beat him there just by a hair. They're in position as the 8th Florida come up. Florida doing their best to hold this corner. But they're, yeah, they got to pull back. That's a good call by Hog. Oh, they've got double teamed here. Look at this. 14th has moved in, but the 52nd is on their flank. They swung around. 
52nd is near the point of contention. They're taking it back. Both teams breaking. And now they're behind the 14th Louisiana. 8th Alabama coming up to support. You hear the huzzah. 8th Alabama is racing back to get to the point of contention. They know they've got to protect against these 52nd. 52nd New York standing in the open field. They don't give a shit. Look at the fire coming in. There's Hogg, 8th Florida, going for the point of contention. He doesn't have many men with him, but time is not on his side. He's got to get there, and he's got to get there quick. There's four minutes. <clears throat> 52nd, and the rest of the 8th Florida is going to have to get over here, and they're going to have to hold this point of contention if they have any chance to win this battle. And you see him streaming in, 8th Florida coming straight for the point. The Alabama guys have to see this. You hear it. Hogs focused on the point, as he should be. 52nd coming over to support. The 8th Alabama gave them all they wanted, so they're going to be licking their wounds. Here come the Alabama. You got some crossing the road. <clears throat> you got some coming straight down. There's the 14th Louisiana as well. They're about to put a lot of pressure on these Yankees. But they have to because they're losing the point of contention. It's about to go back blue. Here come the Alabama. They want to hang on to it. They've got to push these Union off. They've hit them from the side and from the front. <clears throat> General Charge is going to be here any second. I can feel it. You got a couple of Confederates moving in. Eerily calm right now. The Union knows that they're in a terrible, terrible position. They're just going to be picked off one by one here. But what else are you going to do? They've got both flags. Okay, we've got 52nd New York coming back across the field. They're just all scattered out. <clears throat> Acting as skirmishers. Hogs trying to hide his men behind the bush if he can. They're doing it. <clears throat> two minutes. Two minutes. Will they be able to get this point of contention before the clock goes away? Alabama's not going to give them a chance to see. Here they come. Eighth Alabama on their front. Elements on the left. A brutal fire coming into the Union. Alabama up close. They're fighting for that point. They're getting it back. Look at that. The clock is going back toward the Confederates. <clears throat> They've got to get it back red before this timer is over. They don't want to have an overtime force. Here they come. There's just not a lot of Yankees left alive. There's going to be a lot fewer of them here in a few moments. You see the flags running for their lives. And the Confederates are getting the point of contention back in their favor. That should have been the winning move. I can't see how <clears throat> the Union could possibly make a push in one minute to be able to uh, take out these Confederates. So this is a really, really hard battlefield to defend, but... I'm going to risk looking like a fool and say with 45 seconds left that the uh, 8th Alabama and the 11th, or the 14th Louisiana have done it. Even though these uh, two union companies, the 52nd New York and the 8th Florida, were very aggressive. And they're not quite done yet. Here they come again. <clears throat> but I'm afraid it's going to be a little too little too late. 24 seconds. The Confederates hold the point of contention. Here come the 52nd New York, a little scattered, trying to get in behind them. 14th Louisiana is not happy. They're going straight up in their face, shooting them as they come across the field. 8th Florida is joining the fray. <clears throat> Final push, two seconds to go. But that's it. It's over. The Confederates are victorious. As you can see, the numbers don't lie.
they were able to kill a lot of those Yankees, even though the Union had a good uh, hold in this battle at the very beginning. Well, good job by everyone. All the companies did a great job. Uh, special thanks again to the uh, United European Community for allowing me to see this. If you're new here, uh, follow us on Twitch. We do this every Saturday. Uh, follow me on uh, YouTube. Hit that like button. Maybe subscribe. Until next time, my name's Jehovah, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.